Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender and today we're gonna be talking about Smartapply. If I sound a bit rough, it's because I slept only two and a half bloody hours and I'm bloody dead. Um, but, um, you know, we're gonna make a video for you guys. So, I wanna show you something really cool with Smartapply because I think a lot of people, um, a lot of you guys, you know, you, you got hard ups and box cutter, but you don't really use these tools to its full potential. I know it's a lot of take in, there's a lot of tools, there's a lot of options and combinations, you know. But that's that's why we're here to to help you out. Uh, so anyway, I want to show you a few things that you can do with Smart Apply. And Smart Apply is a lot of different uses, and it's just bloody brilliant. Okay, so first of all, what Smart Apply does, the basic function of it is right, is to apply all the modifiers except for the last bevel and weighted normals. So if I'm gonna have you know several modifiers running on this mesh, let's say two cuts and a mirror. And then I'm gonna have a bevel, right? So I'm gonna have a bevel. I'm gonna press one to change profile, and then uh, Alt click on sharp and to the normals. If you're gonna see my uh, modifier stack here, you will see that I have quite a few of them, right? So now, if I'm gonna run a smart apply, everything is gonna get applied except for last bevel and weighted normals. And I'm saying last bevel because if I had two bevels on this mesh, the first bevel is gonna get applied. So be careful. Uh, let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna add secondary bevel. So watch, I'm gonna go to Q and I'm going to control shift, right? Control shift, click on bevel and then press X to slice it in half. Now, if I'm gonna draw here a cut on the other side, there's a mirror over there. If I'm gonna draw a cut here, you'll see that the bevel size is sliced in half. What it means now, we can, I can adjust both bevel, uh, bevels separately. So if I press Q and adjust this bevel, I can also press Q and adjust this bevel. So I got two bevels, right? So if I'm going to go to Smart Apply, so Operations and Smart Apply, look what happens, right? I'm going to apply um, the the previous bevel so you see this bevel here wasn't applied right but the but but the main bevel uh, it got applied because it was actually a structural bevel so be really careful with this right but if you have only one bevel going on okay smart apply is incredible because you simply go here operations and smart apply and uh, and now you see that the bevel wasn't applied all that was applied was the bullions and mirror so it's a really quick way of applying all the modifiers. You know, what you could do instead, right, you could go with Control, click on Sharpen, which will apply the booleans, but it will not apply the mirror, right? So that's why Smart Apply is so cool. Also, Smart Apply applies modifiers in a certain order, so it doesn't mess up your stock. If you have, for example, like a Solidify on this, well, on this mesh it would not work, but let's say it was a plane, and you get like an array, when you're gonna go with Control click on Sharpen, it might actually mess up your model, because Control click Sharpen doesn't really respect the um, order of modifiers, applies them from the top, okay? So, you know, uh, be careful. By the way, that's on the one use of Smart Apply, and I use it all the time. Now, there is a little bit of a quicker way of getting there, because, you know, you normally have to go here, Operations, and Smart Apply, but if you have Booleans running on your mesh, so I'm gonna go back a little bit, uh, and you can access Everscroll, you can see here, if you, I press, if I hold Alt and click on Everscroll, I'm gonna actually apply Smart Apply. So, you know, it's the same result. Basically, quicker way of getting there, but you need to have modifiers, live booleans on your mesh, otherwise you cannot see Everscroll, okay? So this is for applying basically booleans to your mesh. So boom, you know, here, Alt click, Smart Apply, done, right? You can see here in the bottom, and what happened okay cool so that's one use of smart apply second use of smart apply will be to duplicating the mesh with booleans applied weighted normals and bevels removed so watch this i got here okay i got a boolean boolean hard up smear bevel and weighted normals if i'm gonna go here go to q and operations and shift click on smart apply right i'm going to duplicate this mesh okay and it's gonna stay in the same in the same position i'll tell you why it's important in a minute but let's go to local mode and look at this mesh see the bevel is gone the way the normals are gone everything is gone but the booleans were applied and the mirror was applied okay and it's really important let's say you wanted to use okay uh this cutout here as a as another cutter but you can't do that on the main mesh because on the main mesh right the booleans are live so it's just a face, okay? But in this one, if you go to edit mode, you can actually select the face. So what you're gonna do here is simply press I to insert it, right? Then you press Ctrl I to invert the selection, press X and, and remove the uh, faces, and now you got yourself a cutter, okay? So now if I'm gonna grab this one and go to um, modifiers, and I'm going to apply solidification to it, let's say press two to go both ways, right? 
I can create a cutter for my mesh so I can do something like this, which is bloody cool, right? So that's second way of using Smart Apply. Then let's say we're gonna have a face, okay? So let's go to Q and Control click on Curve Extract. So we're gonna get just the face. We're gonna select all the corners. Then we're going to go to Q and uh, Control click on Mark and create bevels here. And also remember, I have mirrors going on, so that's that. And then I'm gonna go to Q, um, Operations, and I'm gonna Control click on Smart Apply to create a curve. And then I'm gonna press S1 and I got a curve, okay? You can do the same thing with um, Curve Extract. So you could go here, Mesh Tools, and simply click on Curve Extract, which basically will extract the curve. The only difference is that Curve Extract will extract the curve, but will not convert the geo into a curve, okay? So there's kind of like a, another way of creating a curve um, on your mesh, all right? So let's just delete that. And the last thing, is basically adding a step bevel. So what is a step bevel? You remember when you added the bevel, the secondary bevel, so I went here, pressed Q, and shift click on bevel and pressed X. It's one way of adding a bevel, okay? But I'm gonna remove this bevel here, and I'm gonna add one through Smart Apply. So let's go here, press Q, and then we're gonna go to Operations and Alt click on Smart Apply, which will add a step bevel, non-destructive, and then if I'm gonna create not a Boolean, so now you can see that I got two bevels, okay? I got two bevels. Uh, on this match one of them is thinner and one of them is you know thicker all right guys that's it for this one i hope you learned something useful and if you would like to learn more about hard ups and box cutter we got a free course for you uh, on our website so just click on the link in the video description and there is a full-on course on like a, like a mini course on on the sci-fi terminal with texture and decals you know rendering everything and also we're gonna give you a free pdf file with really important cool shortcuts for hard ups and box cutter. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.